My name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I'm so excited to have you all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the third episode of Moon Knight. The I forgot, I actually forgot the name of the episode, but I'll edit when I post it. Um, but before, before we get started, I just want to let you know that um, this past week I actually got a new phone uh, because my other phone got like messed up. It was like. Cause I kept break, I kept dropping it and stuff. So, if you're wondering why the quality looks a little different, it's because I got a new phone. All right, let's get started with the video. So for me, I actually thought that this was another pretty good episode of Moon Knight. Now, if, if I would have to rank all the episodes, I would say the first episode is in last place, this episode is in second place, and the third, second episode is in first place. And that there's something about it that I thought was pretty good. Once, first off, I was kind of nervous going into this episode as in the last episode we had Mark Spector taking over Stephen Grant's body and actually going to do this mission himself. And I was a little bit nervous on that because if you really look at it, Stephen Grant is a more enjoyable character. And Mark Spector just seems like that guy that just wants to get the job done. He doesn't care about Stephen Grant. He just wants to get the job done and pay his debt. He doesn't care about all that. But um, I, I was actually kind of enjoying it because they still had Stephen Grant on the ride and still gave him access to the body. And along those same lines, you actually do get some Mark Spector action and also some Moon Knight action, which I thought was pretty cool too. Um, but like there's even this sequence at the at the beginning where you have like this rooftop sequence where Mark Spector's beating up all these guys and it just looks so cool and stuff and he's beating them brutally. It's just really cool. It reminded me a lot of like those fight sequences in Fistful of Vengeance earlier this year, so I love that. And then even the, the fight scene um, towards the end, I thought was pretty cool. It gave me a lot of, it gave me a lot of Batman vibes, if you, if you really think about it. Um, and then also, I love that we actually get more time spending with Layla and Mark Spector. I, I just really enjoyed that, and uh, I was like, if they're actually really married, I want to see how this can progress. And I like the way that it actually does that. And if I'm being completely honest, I really wish that this movie didn't focus on Stephen Grant. I kind of wish that it actually just focused on Mark Spector because he seems like a more interesting character to me. And then also, uh, m once again, as much as I loved Oscar Isaac's performance as Stephen, as this character, he has a great performance. Like he, when, when Mark Stephen Grant switches back to the body, you can just see how he switches performances, and it's amazing. And then, of course, once again, Ethan Hawke gives another great performance. So there's just some pretty good stuff in this episode. With that said, let's move on to the bad aspects of this episode. And for me, I would say that the only bad thing about this episode is there are some issues with it. Like, there are, like, there is a, there are some scenes here and there that I wasn't really the biggest fan of um and, and I watched the entire episode through and th there were some conf there were some confusing scenes where it just begins of them going to this place like what why exactly are they going to this place and also like when it transitioned to like the scenes 
did the transition between Mr. Knight and Moon Knight. It was a little confusing at those times, but at the same time, when I did it a second time, I was like, I, I understand it a little bit better. And also, I wasn't really the biggest fan of, like, them going to the other Egyptian gods and stuff, and then them being, like, in their avatars. I was just kind of weirded out by that, but overall, I actually really enjoyed this episode. It's actually one of the better episodes for me. And, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give this a positive score. So that's my review for episode 3 of Moon Knight. Before I give my final score, be sure to comment down below. What were your thoughts on episode 3 of Moon Knight? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Rub between? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments screen below. With that said, let's get all my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores, but we're not done here yet. We have one more thing to do before we end this video, and that's to talk about some theories I have for the rest of this show. And for some theories I have, uh, one thing I noticed in this episode is they actually mentioned into Madripoor, which if you don't know from Falcon the Winter Soldier, that was a place that they been they were in re very frequently. And also another thing I heard about this um, show is that they're going to bring be bringing in Cap um, Sharon Carter, which her last appearance was Falcon the Winter Soldier and another ultimate in an ult in an alternate version of her in What If. So, and how exactly do I think this her character is going to be playing in the show? From the from the tease of Madripoor in it, I'm not exactly sure. Because why would Sharon, what would Sharon Carter want to do with um, Egyptian stuff? But overall, uh, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my social media stuff is in the about section over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.